As mentioned in the previous clip, I'd like to go ahead and add some additional joints into my arms. Specifically here at the shoulder, I want to be able to get an extra twist kind of between the bicep and where it hooks up into the shoulder. That way when I rotate over here, it's going to be able to twist a little bit more cleanly. So similar to what we have going on here with the twist at the forearm. So to do this, I don't need any additional joints in my arm IK or arm FK, so I go ahead and hide those too. Now to add additional joints here, I can just use my insert joint tool. It'll be a bit easier to do that if I turn off this joint layer. So what I'm going to do is come over here to skeleton, choose insert joints, and then I can just kind of click and drag and add these joints. And I'm paying attention up in the upper right hand corner to my translate X because that's what I want to roughly match on the opposite side. So I'm going to get that as close to about 0.8 as I can. Let's say about 0.799 there. And we'll do the same over here. We'll go ahead and looks like it's going to about 0.801. Okay, so close enough. I can go ahead and make the rest of the adjustment on my own. I'm going to go ahead and hit the insert key over here. And I can hit plus to increase the size of my manipulator to get a little bit more precision. And let's see, that's about 7 point, or rather 0.798. And over here we have 0.799. That's probably close enough. If you really want it, you can try to match them a little bit closer. There we go. Almost had it. You need some pretty precise mouse action there to get that. There we go, so those match. I'll go ahead and hit the minus key to bring that back down and hit insert to exit out of pivot mode. So I wanna go back in now and rename these two joints as well. So I'll hit F here to kind of reveal that. This is gonna be my, let me grab this name here. This will be my bicep joint. There we go. We'll go ahead and copy that and we'll do the same naming convention here. There we go, that's just gonna be the right hand side. Okay, so I also want to go ahead and chop up my geometry so that I can attach just this piece to this new joint. So we can do that just as we did before. However, it's going to be a little bit easier to kind of pull this out of the hierarchy first. I'm going to hit F here, and this is the joint right here, or rather the piece of geometry, and I'll go ahead and delete out this parent constraint. There we go. And I'm going to hit Shift P to unparent that. We'll do the same on this side. We'll go ahead and grab that delete out the parent constraint, and we'll hit Shift P to unparent it. Let's come back down here to where we just copied it over to, and let's go ahead and chop these up. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate out this bottom part here. So let's say right about to there, and I'll go to my modeling menu. There we go. And we can do the same on the opposite side. I'll go ahead and grab this piece right here. Let's go to our mesh and extract. There we go. And I want to make sure I grab all four of these pieces and kill their history. There we go. Edit, delete by type history. And I want to make sure they're also not in these groups. So I'll hit Shift P to unparent them and I can delete these extra groups. But probably not before grabbing these names. So there we go. And so I'll go ahead and rename these pieces now. So this was originally piece 17. So we'll call this one 17A. And we'll go ahead and call this one 17B. And alternatively, we'll call this one here 18A and 18B. Go ahead and just steal the 17B there, and we'll just adjust that. There we go. And now I can go back in and reconstrain them. So this one here is going to constrain to this joint. So the joint is the driver. This is the driven. Well, let's go to our rigging menu, constrain, parent. Make sure that's set to the defaults that I want. We'll go ahead and hit apply. Let's do the same over here on this one. There we go. And we'll come over to this side as well. We'll choose this joint, choose the geometry, apply, choose the joint, choose the geometry, and apply. And now I can go ahead and grab all four of these and we can put them back into our hierarchy. So I'm gonna go ahead and close up this proxy geo and just middle mouse drag that into proxy geo. And we can do a quick test to make sure that works. I can just grab this joint here 
and rotate, and that's coming along for the ride. Don't worry that the hand isn't. We disconnected that earlier. And you can see I can now get that twist in there as well. Let's just test the other side really quickly. Make sure that also works as expected. That works. And let's see here. That also works. All right, great. So we've gone ahead and added those additional joints as well as split our geometry. In the next clip, let's go ahead and begin rigging up the FK portion of our arms.